Well, good afternoon, everyone, and hi there, Private Practice Success Community. I hope you are having a fabulous day. I am sitting here out on my deck. I've been trying to sort out my internet for the last, what feels like 30 minutes, was probably more like five to 10 minutes, uh, but I've got that sorted now. So what I wanna do is just quickly share this live stream into my Facebook groups just to make sure that those guys also get to join us live because as you know Facebook does not show the notifications to everyone by the way you are able to um, click follow whilst you're watching which means that it is more likely for um, Facebook to actually send you a notification when I go live which means that a little um, icon will pop up on your phone to say um, private practice success or good on is live and then you can either choose to click on it or you can go no I'm doing something else but that's really really handy and I get that for a lot of um, people that I follow all right so I've shared this in two of my groups I'm just going to share it on those two groups hi Michelle thanks for joining well this afternoon it is the Gerda and Butterball show there's Butterball she is my producer and she keeps tabs on everything that I present here <laughs> fabulous so I hope you guys have had an awesome day I had a, a pretty interesting um, day a bit different than my normal days when I'm working here from home so you know it started with the normal school drop-off and then I went to the Logan home practice and I actually inducted our practices very first housekeeper who knew who knew that under our award you could have a housekeeper so the housekeeper is actually under the support um, services um, uh, classification as a level two person in your practice so what does a housekeeper do in a private practice well um, maybe just to take a couple of steps back um, generally at the practice over the years and the start it was cleaned by me that was my job normally on a Saturday or Sunday I would go in for many many years and clean out the whole place um, then when you grow and you get a bit bigger and you get clever and you realize that it's much better to outsource that stuff you start outsourcing it and we've outsourced it to uh, cleaning businesses that would come in clean and off they go again sometimes um, at times we've had our reception involved in doing the cleaning and then we went back to cleaners and it's been up and down and I just realized that I didn't really like um, getting external cleaners to come in also because this it seems like there's always something happening you know they're moving away or they have an injury somewhere else where they work and they can't come in anymore and we need to find someone new and and honestly my reception do not have the time to be cleaning the practices they're overrun as it is so I thought what I want to do was not get hire a cleaner but hire somebody that does more than that and and then I started doing some research and I decided to hire a house housekeeper you know, like the person that when you go to a hotel and you know they look after your room make it nice that type of thing and and that's what I decided to do for my team get a housekeeper so not somebody that swoops in for an hour to an hour and a half just does the basic clean and swoops out again or when reception was doing it that finds 20 minutes here and there to clean up a bit no somebody that really lifts that level of what it is that we do at the practice um, and really makes it you know a good experience in terms of that quality standard of what the place looks like smells like all that stuff and make it a good environment aesthetically for both my clients and of course my team whether that's my clinician team or my admin team and this person will be responsible for all of that stuff and they can do other little tasks as well like you know helping reception with the shredding and you know emptying that maybe having coffee days where they're gonna come in on their day and make coffee for the clients and the clinicians you know all those little things that reception doesn't get time to do because obviously they their priorities is to booking clients and to taking payments that's their number one priorities so I'm very excited to see how this is going to work out so I've actually appointed this person as a casual employee working across the practices 
Yes, and then I saw my three clinical clients. It was a client day for me today. Then what did I do? I checked in with a housekeeper, saw how she was going. She was all good. Had a bit of a chat to some, um, some of the clinicians at the practice, reception staff before I went off. Bought some dinner for tonight, got the kids at school, and here I am. Okay, so, um, hi Michelle. If anybody else joins us, I can see Michelle is here. Please let me know. Say hi. So today I want to extend to you at your formal and very, very exclusive invitation. All right, let me just move this again. There we go. So I can see as people joy. Exclusive invitation. So I hope you're intrigued by that. If you are, give me some likes, give me some love. So if you've been following this 90 day vlog series and don't ask me on what day I am, it's day 50 something. That's all I know. I'll go and check after the fact. Um, I, was, I was just too glad when the uh, internet started working and we just I'm going live. I'm not going to check the date first, um, the number. Anyway, if you've been following this, um, I think two, maximum three times, I briefly mentioned that I was planning an event in June. And the name of this event is my Get It Done Residential Retreat. Now, I haven't run any of those this year. All right, because of course I need to make sure that when I run events that there's actually demand for it. And it just became apparent to me with all the practice owners that I've been talking to over the last couple of weeks that a very common theme with them is overwhelm, the feeling of overwhelm, going, good, I'm not short of ideas, but done, I just do not have the time to implement it. And what they have is that feeling of overwhelm every night, leaving the practice or going to bed, being worried about that stuff on the to-do list that they're just not getting to. They can see the vision, but it's, you know, between here and that goal of what they want to do in the first six months and 12 months and until now between the end of the year, it's like they're just not getting there. And that feeling of overwhelm is just immense. And, you know, I know what that feels like. And whenever I do clinical work with my clients and we talk about emotional reasoning, uh, when you're doing a bit of CBT, I always tell my clients the one feeling that you can trust for sure is the feeling of overwhelm. That's a feeling that doesn't lie to you. You know, sometimes you might feel like a bad mother because you forgot to get your kids, um, you know, $5 and it's tuck shop day and you get to the practice or you get to work, you go, geez, I forgot tuck shop money. I feel like such a bad mom. I'm a bad mom. My kids aren't gonna have food. You know, of course we know that's emotional reasoning, but I always say overwhelm, that's the one you can trust, okay? So that was the one theme that keep, kept on coming up. The second theme that kept on coming up was really this feeling of frustration where people are telling me, you know, I've done the planning, I've really tried my best to set things up, to get things in place, to get organized. I, you know, I sorted out my diary, I sorted out how stuff's gonna work, I tried to delegate as much as I can, but stuff, kept on happening oh, and it still keeps on happening and doesn't matter what I do I can't get to this goal that I want to get to and this is the group of practice owners that is so frustrated because they just can't get the stuff done and what makes it even harder is that they've put in such an effort at the front end in terms of planning but it's still just not working out and I just thought that's it that's enough I'm gonna help these people. So I've put together a three-day residential retreat. So I've already launched this to my masterclass graduate group uh, last week. So I sent them all an email with all the information. I also spoke to them exclusively in their um, exclusive Facebook group. Um, and um, I also had two other people that messaged me as a result of just mentioning this retreat uh, when I was doing it here on the public Facebook page. So today I'm launching it officially to everybody else that's in my Facebook groups and I will be launching it to, to my email database as well. So currently I've only reserved places for 11 practice owners to join us at this Get It Done residential retreat. 
treat three places are already gone so it's actually one of my masterclass graduates that has uh, booked as well as two other people from the initial messaging that has booked their place and, and those two people are actually currently now also enrolled in my online marketing program because obviously these guys see the value they've spent time with me and they see the value in doing something like this so um, <laughs> but no nine how much is that places left I should have had another two by now but I've just been so non-stop throughout this day uh, that I haven't had time for coffee but I'm having one right after this uh, somebody else has joined us whoever you are welcome I can't see who you are so I can't call you by name please feel free to say hi in the comments section then I will be able to see who you are and your name yes so I'm launching this officially and this is your exclusive invite to come and join me and a group of other amazing practice owners to get stuff done. Whether you're a group or whether you fall in the frustrated group, please come and join us and get stuff done. In terms of going out, okay, hopefully that will work. I might have to talk faster before we lose our internet here, make sure it's all working. And I don't have a lot of uh, um, power left. Anyway, what I will do, because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time with this power, I'm going to uh, leave the link in the comments below so that you can check out all the options. You can basically come and do whatever you want. And the best thing is that you get to spend those three days with me, okay, with my um, principal psychologist, Frankie, and with my accounts person, Tracy. So you will get have us there to facilitate and help you doing what you need to do. So we will contact you a week out from the retreat, ask you what your top three things are so we are prepared, we know what you want to work on, and we're going to help you to get it done. It's going to be one amazing weekend. Places are limited, so please check out the link below and you know make this the three days that you're going to use to turn your practice around and make 2017 yours but I can tell you because I know you guys would know if normally when you book to come and spend a couple of days with me you know it's a fairly steep investment but this retreat is very very affordable I probably should have been charging two three times more than I am but my goal here is to really help you guys achieve what you need to do all right so please uh, have a look at the details if you've got any questions just let me know and I look forward to welcoming you to the Get It Done Residential Retreat. I will speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.